Hey everyone, Taylor Gish here, MSP Fitness. We're here today talking about hand care and how to take care of uh, some of that nasty buildup or the calluses that will develop with any form of resistance training. A lot of times, it's not just barbell lifts, kettlebells, dumbbells, really anything that you put in your hands for the means of getting stronger and performing better are at some point gonna have a bodily response. Your hands will develop ridges in the areas that that weight or that implement rubs against most. If we don't take care of that, sometimes those ridges can rip off and that's where you see these heroic pictures of all oh, my hand ripped open. Well, really we can prevent that by taking care of those ridges and those calluses with a couple of different tools. The highest touch points probably our most recommended would be the callus remover. This is something you can pick up at CVS, Walgreens, really any drug store. We'll talk about how that will work with the razor in a moment. Maybe the most kind of brute, uh, just easy, plain, everyone already has one is the fingernail clipper. We'll demo that in a moment as well. The last one is probably our least favorite recommendation, but it happens to be one that people also have in their house which is just a plain razor um, mine happens to be part of a, a box cutter setup that I have let's go ahead and get into some demonstrations here if I start with probably our favorite right off the bat here know that this is about not just the one swipe approach but the multiple reaching across of the callus or traveling across of the callus if we cut in here these pretty nasty ridges I've been saving them for this video for a couple of weeks I'm going to start just at the top of the callus and then just nice and easy come very lightly across and you'll see that I can kind of take off one layer at a time. And I, I can play the game of coming, you know, towards the bottom half of one of those ridges, but this really does not take much as far as pressure. And I can just play coming across a little bit and then make sure that I'm taking care of that entire ridge to my heart's content. One thing that can be very helpful for making this process go faster or easier is if you are doing this either in the shower, just after a tub or a soak, or um, do what I did and just put your hands in some warm water for you know two or three minutes before filming a video. The second option, which uh, is my personal favorite, although I may be a quick convert to this uh, this new uh, hand callus remover device, over the, uh, the hump of the callus, over the bed of the callus, just clipping out a portion, right? And then you can go along and clip the side ridges as well. Clipping out the next portion down, and then clipping out the next portion down. And like I said, it's not as nice of a smooth swipe as that other device, but it does a pretty good job of taking down what would be the potential to rip the next time you grab that uh, that heavy farmer's carry or that, uh, that barbell for snatches. The last one I'm not even gonna demonstrate, although I have done it when I need to be in a pinch. Sometimes with this one, you just don't have that fine touch. It's a little bit more wider of a blade, but I have seen and I have heard of a lot of people loving just a straight blade that you'd use for a razor or for a uh, exacto knife or a box cutter for shaving down that callus. Hopefully this has been helpful. You need to implement some of this stuff, especially if you're doing any serious resistance training, um, especially pursuing performance and strength. This has been uh, a video from MSP Fitness. Go take care of your hands, do it today, don't delay, and always check back to more of our videos on our YouTube channel and mspfitness.com. We'll catch you guys later.